What's up wizards? I've been doing some vintage TypeScript magic that I want to show you. We have here, or I was asked today about this function, a merge function, which basically takes in an array of objects and merges them together using object assign. How do you properly type this? This is pretty hardcore, right? Because we have foo here being overridden three times or twice, where we have it declared as a string, then declared as a number, then declared as a Boolean. So in theory here, we should be able to get back a Boolean at the end from foo as well as all the other objects. If we move this one down here, then foo should be a number instead. If we move this one here, then foo should be a string. And it is, so the order really matters here. So let me show you how I did it. The key here is we start with a merge type helper or a generic type, which is we're basically merging. So we're taking this original object here and then we're merging in a new object. So we're deleting foo from here and then adding in foo from there. So the way this works is we're relying heavily on omit, the type helper omit, where we're taking T1, which is this object, and then basically omitting all the keys that are present in T2 here and then we're intersecting it with this object. This means then that we remove foo from this one and then squish in all of the objects into the initial one here. So you end up with an object of foo and bar. And then Prettify, what this is doing, if we remove it from the uh, setup here, then if we don't have Prettify, then you see all of the uh, object property, it's kind of like decomputed. It hasn't quite been stirred together yet. And so Prettify, what it does, it basically just mushes those objects together and makes the output a lot cleaner, a lot prettier. So merge array of objects then. So we got our first little merge going. How do we then merge an array of objects? How do we take in these three things, foo string, bar string, which is essentially the same as below, and how do we get it so it properly merges all together? Well, this one I'm not going to go into too hardcore. It's a bit of tail recursive type stuff. We're basically checking if the array that gets passed in TR here, we're checking, we're doing a check. Uh, if the check passes, we're returning one thing. If the check fails, we're returning another thing. And the thing we're checking is if there is an object to merge left in the array, we're checking if it's an empty array. If it's an empty array, we basically just like return the thing that we've been saving in this T1 variable. Otherwise, we merge together T1 and T2. That's what's happening there. And so, this is what you get. You end up with, uh, if you change the order here so that the foo number is at the bottom, then you get foo being a number. If you change it so foo is a string at the end, then you get foo as a string. And then all we're doing is we're taking this clever, clever type helper and we're mapping it onto a generic type. We're saving tr as a type parameter here and grabbing the objects as tr here and then just returning merge array of objects. And because object.assign basically returns any in this overload essentially, then we end up with a correct type here. So this was something I was very, very, very pleased about. This whole sort of step where you can build a merge type helper, merge an array of objects together, and then just map it onto a function is really, really nice. And is a really good mental model for when you want to build your own generic functions.